Hello all. Welcome to Random Art with Karen. I'm in my spiral Bible. I have the New Testament in the American Standard Version. And I'm going to do a little bit of journaling here. I've been reading through the uh, New Testament. And yeah, let me show you something real quick. <laughs> and yes, my cat's tearing around through here. Uh, if you go to the Spiral Bible website, uh, scroll down, you'll see where it says read the word. And there they have a reading plan. And they have it broken down into, uh, you know, digestible pieces. I, I don't know how else to do it. So I chose to um, do the New Testament so you can uh, see my progress here. But they also have it broken down into the prophets and you see it's in you know 52 weeks the books of poetry which would be Job through Song of Solomon uh, the book the books of history which is Joshua through Esther and then the books of the law which is Genesis through uh, Deuteronomy so sometimes, you know, you, uh, you're going to read the Bible through. That's your goal for the year. And then there's days that you uh, can't do it. Uh, and then you get to feeling behind. This to me is more, it's more workable for me. And as you can see, I am uh, up to Acts 1 through 7, which brings us here. <laughs> Let me put this aside. And again, that's on the Spiral Bible website. So, and, yeah. So, yeah, so I was reading Acts, and by the way, the printable that I'm using today from Praise and Pray, that was on the printable, so I decided to put it there. And I'm going to be doing Acts 2, 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' teaching and fellowship in the breaking of bread and the prayers. So, yeah, so praise and pray shop. I like to put that down there so uh, I don't forget. You know, people will ask me, you know, where'd you get the printable? And that's how I remember it. <laughs> so I'm going to highlight that verse. Uh, this is, it's uh, I can't pronounce that, but uh, if you're interested, I will put the link below from uh, Amazon on that. And so let me get this highlighted. If you've watched some of my videos before, you know one of the things that I like about this Spiral Bible is it lays flat. And, you know, I can fold it back on itself. Uh, very portable. That's why I do like that they, have, you know, broke it down into the New Testament. And then in the Old Testament, they broke it down into, I think, four different books. And um, then it would keep it, you know, from being so, so bulky so you could take it with you. Yeah, since it talks about uh, the breaking of bread, uh, this was... A really nice printable for this particular verse. In fact, it was specific to this verse because as you can see here, this is part of the printable. So I'm going to put this down here. I'll, I think I'm going to put it, yeah, so I'm going to white out the page number. Yeah, when I was reading through Acts, I thought, yeah, I want to come back and uh, look at that verse and as I have been reading I've been underlining and highlighting different verses because I want to do come back and, and study a little further and uh, hopefully get more understanding and if you want to fast forward through me trying to get this uh, peeled off here we go up oh, I thought I had it <laughs> And, and, there we go. 
Is it just me? Do y'all have those issues as well? I hope so. Uh, I don't like to be alone in my struggles. <laughs> Let's see, do I want to put it all? I think I'm going to let it hang over and then I will trim it off. What you doing up here on my table, Blissy? Hmm? Don't be getting into anything. I'm telling a cat not to get into anything on my craft table. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think that's going to work for you, Karen? <laughs> All right. I do want to put the verse there. And I want to put some decorative elements. Sorry if I just bumped the camera. I could blame it on, on Bliss, but that would not be right. So... I think that's a little too big. I want to go a little smaller. Like this. I want this too. I'm going to go with that. And white out notes. And hope that this one goes a lot smoother than the last one. Yeah, the uh, printable sheets I use are Mako, and there's just one. Uh, they're eight and a half by eleven, just and there's just one line to the very middle of it, where you know it makes it easy for you to peel off. Which way do you want to go on this? I think I want to go that way. And it's okay since these are clear stickers to cover up the Book of Acts. So what's nice. Here it says Acts, and it even tells you uh, chapter 2, starting at verse 40, and then it ends chapter 3, verse 14. So I like that you can see that on every page. Uh, let's see, where do I want to get this just about? Oops. That could have been, yeah, with this paper, once it goes down, there's no peeling it back up. Trust and believe I've tried it, and yeah, it'll it'll tear the paper. You know, if just a little bit gets attached, you usually can remove that safely. So, all right, I think I'm going to get to my journaling. So I did do a little research uh, as to, you know, what is the meaning of the breaking of bread? Breaking of bread is a covenant meal, reminding us of the promises we made to the Lord to be faithful to him. Uh, then also, this particular translation uses the word steadfastly. I noted in some of the other translations, it uses the, the word devote. So I chose to write the definition of steadfastly. So I think that's what I'm going to write here. Steadfastly. Do I want to skip a line? I think I do. It's finally acting like summer here in Middle Tennessee. Just really unique weather patterns, huh? Yeah, so I should have actually turned on my air condition up here. <laughs> Resolutely. or dutifully. So when you are doing things like this, uh, wanting to learn more, uh, I suggest going to uh, Bible Gateway and you can read different translations and it, it, it does help with understanding. Uh, it has helped me So you can pick words through your verse, look up definitions and synonyms. Again, that'll help with understanding. And then I'm also going to just put the word to vote here. 
So I'm going to write down uh, the meaning of the breaking of bread, uh, but I'm going to do that off camera and then we'll come back. So hold on. So I finished writing down uh, about the breaking of bread, that documentation, and I chose to underline the word steadfastly uh, and then highlight it and also highlight the word covenant here. Uh, I will put my uh, places where I go and do some research like Bible Hub, Bible Ref, Bible Gateway. Uh, if you're wanting to, uh, you know, look a little deeper uh, into some scripture and have further understanding, I think you'll find those uh, references helpful to you. I'll also put the link for Praise and Pray Shop and for the Spiral Bible. And I hope you like this video. <laughs> If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, become a subscriber if you're not already. Just hit the subscribe button. Uh, those of you do, that uh, do subscribe, you know, I appreciate you. Let's do the wave by. Look forward to doing some Bible journaling with you next time.